Hi there, and you're watching this very special update on Greece with me, Darren McDermott. Yesterday evening, public workers protested outside Parliament as a vote was passed for a new bill to lay off thousands of public workers. Now, I am joined by Ilias Lacoste, Chief Economist at Perius Bank in Athens. So, Ilias, tell us more about the public's response to these cuts. Well, I think that, you know, uh, we have to take into account the fact that Greece uh, has been in a recession for six years now, and unemployment is close to 27%. So, if you factor in this... Um, developments then uh, people's uh, anger or people's discomfort about uh, uh, recent economic developments um, is quite understandable uh, on the on the other hand I think that uh, the it was a very crucial bill that was being discussed uh, last night in the Greek Parliament because uh, it, it is a prerequisite uh, in order for Greece to continue receiving funding from the uh, troika and the, the bill was uh, it will be passed uh, last, uh, late last night. So, uh, although I understand uh, people's uh, discomfort with uh, uh, developments, uh, I, I'm not uh, really worried about uh, the stability of the coalition government right now. And many have said the problem with Greece is the slow speed of reforms. Now, this is obviously a strong attempt from the parliament to bring in more reforms to boost the economy. So what other reforms are you expecting to see? I think that uh, there are a lot of um, uh, very crucial uh, reforms that have to be implemented. Uh, according to my opinion, uh, three of them is first uh, a, a reform of the tax collection mechanism in order to curb uh, tax, eva tax evasion and tax avoidance. Uh, very closely related to that is the uh, reform of the judicial process in order to speed up the um, the, the, uh, the very crucial um, uh, tax evasion uh, cases. And of course, I think that we need to, to ma make uh, reforms regarding closed professions and the labor market in order to make the Greek uh, economy uh, more open and more competitive. And German Finance Minister Wolfgang Schobel is in Athens today and is expected to offer Greece 100 million euros for a fund to promote economic growth. Now, do you think this meeting today will actually be successful? I think that uh, the amount of uh, uh, money that um, is on the table uh, is indicative of the very big problem that uh, the Greek economy is facing. Uh, even now, after six years of recession, the Greek economic output is close to 180 billion per year. So you can understand that uh, the 100 million that's on offer uh, is a very small amount that will not make any difference. Uh, the, the Greek economy has to uh, uh, undergo a period of substantial reforms. But at the same time, our European partners have to uh, offer a substantial amount of money that uh, will uh, curb uh, recession and will boost economic uh, growth and employment. Because I think these are the two main problems in the Greek economy right now. We have very, um, a very prolonged recession and very high unemployment, especially youth unemployment. And I think that the amount of money that uh, Mr. Soible is offering is not enough to make uh, uh, any impact. I think that uh, Greece right now needs a, a big positive shock that will uh, be a, it will be a catalyst for an improvement in sentiment both domestically and in the financial markets. And I think that very these indicative events or that can be positive catalysts are either a, an official sector involvement, a haircut on the official sector debt, uh, or a substantial uh, pro-growth um, economic assistance program for Greece. Thank you very much for that. Well, I also conducted an interview on the Bank of Canada rate decision, so make sure you check that out. But for now, have a great day.